Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous video, I showed you how to customize the design of your homepage of your blogger website. And here we can see that all these blog posts are displayed in a custom design. And if I click on any of these blog posts, we are taken to that post. Now this is the default theme that comes with blogger called Contempolite. And we have just customized this homepage to look like this. Now in this design, we can see that all the blog posts of our website are displayed over here. So if we have hundreds of uh, blog posts, then all of them will be loaded. Now we don't want that to happen. We want to display a limited number of posts at a time. So in this video, I'll show you how to add a load more button over here. So by default, a limited number of blog posts will be displayed. And when we click on the load more button, more blog posts will be displayed. So we will do that in this video. Let's get started. <laughs> So the first thing we will do is uh, we'll create the button. So let's go back to the theme code and uh, let's click on this arrow and let's click on edit HTML. Let's scroll down and let's go to the HTML. And for the HTML, we have a class of blog post container. So I'll just search for that over here. I'll just press command F and let's tap class equals blog posts container. And here we can see we have the HTML. Now after this blog post container, we will add the load more button. So let's create a button tag for that. And uh, in this button tag, we will add a text of load more. So let's tap load more. And let's also give it a class. So let's tap class. And uh, let's set it to load more BTN. Right now, let's go ahead and add some basic styling to that. So let's go to the styles uh, section. And here we have all the CSS. So let's scroll down and here let's type load more button. And let's add some CSS. I'll just type margin. And let's set it to 24 pixels top and bottom and uh, auto for left and right. By default, the button tag will be display of inline. So we will change it to display of block so that it has the full width. And uh, now let's set a padding and uh, let's set it to 8 pixels and 32 pixels. And uh, let's add rounded corners. So I'll just have border radius. And let's set the value to 10 pixels. And uh, we will set the border to none. And let's add a background color of dark gray. And let's set the color of the text to white. Right now, let's go ahead and save this. And let's see whether the button is being displayed in our home page. So let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now if we scroll down, here we can see that we have the load more button displayed. Right now let's start with the functionality. So let's go back to our theme code and let's go to the JavaScript code. And here we can see that we are getting the details of the posts in this line of code. Now here we need to limit the number of results that we get. So here let's add a new param. So I'll just tap ampersand amp semicolon. And let's tap max results. And we need to set it to a lower value. So I'll just tap five. You can add any number you want over here. And now let's click on save. And now if you go back to our website and if I refresh this page, and now if you scroll down, we can see that we have just five posts displayed over here. Right now, let's go ahead and write the functionality of loading more posts. So let's go back to the JavaScript. And the first thing we will do is we'll reference the load more button. So we had given it a class of load more BTN. So let's tap const load more BTN equals document dot query selector. And let's tap load more BTN. Right now we need to add an event listener to this load more button. So let's type load more btn dot add event listener. And we need to listen for the click event. So let's tap click. And let's create an arrow function over here. And uh, here we need to call a function and I'll just call the function load more posts. And let's create the function over here. So let's tap const load more posts. Now, before continuing with this load more posts function, let's create two variables. 
So we need to create a variable for the current page. So let's tap let current page and by default we'll set it to one. And now let's create another variable and uh, I'll just name it posts per page. And uh, let's set it to five. Right now in this function, the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to fetch the next set of posts. So for that we will use the fetch API. So I'll just store the result inside a const called response. And uh, let's set it equal to fetch. And here we need to add the URL. So let's add backticks. And we need to copy the same URL from here. And we need to paste it over here. And we also need to add the link of the home page. So let's go back and let's copy this. And let's paste it over here. Now here in the max results, let's change this to the variable that we created. So it is posts per page. So let's type dollar symbol curly braces, posts per page. And we also need to add a start index. So we don't want to fetch everything from the beginning. We want to fetch it from the next posts. So let's type ampersand. And since we are writing this inside an XML file, we need to also type AMP semicolon. And let's type start index. And we need to set it to the current page times posts per page plus one. So let's type current page times posts per page plus one. So what this is going to do is uh, right now the current page is set to one and the posts per page is set to five. So this value will be one times five plus one, which is six. So the start index will be six. So it will start from the sixth post. Right now this fetch API returns us a promise. So here we need to type await. And uh, since we are using await, we need to change this function into an async function. So here let's type async. Right now the next thing we will do is uh, we will check whether the response is okay. So let's type if response dot okay. And if the response is okay, let's type const and let's create a const called data. And let's set it equal to await. And we'll get the response. So let's type response dot JSON. So this will give us the JSON data from the response. And as we saw in the previous video, we are getting the data as data dot feed dot entry. So let's go ahead and store that inside a constant. So I'll just name it const entries and let's set it equal to data dot feed dot entry. Right now we need to check whether we have the entries variable present. And we also need to check whether the length of the entries is greater than zero. So we need to have at least one more post remaining. So let's type if entries ampersand ampersand. Now, since this is XML, we also need to type AMP semicolon instead of ampersand. And let's type entries dot length. And let's see whether it is uh, greater than zero. And if it is so, then uh, we need to go ahead and uh, store the data inside the all posts variable. So here we can see we have this all posts array. So we will store the data to that array. So let's go ahead and type all posts dot push. And uh, here we need to push everything from the entries. So we need to spread it. So let's type dot 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 entries. And uh, now we need to call the function to generate the HTML. So here we have this function called generate posts HTML. So let's copy this and uh, let's paste it down here. And let's call the function. And then we also need to increment the current page. So we need to set it to two. So let's type current page plus plus. So it will increment it by one. All right now let's save this and let's see whether it works. So let's click on save. Let's go back to our website and uh, let's reload this page. And let's scroll down and let's click on the load more button and let's see whether we have any problems. So let's click on load more. And we don't have anything happening. So let's check out the console and let's see what is the error. So let's click on inspect. And let's go to console. And here we can see we have some errors. So syntax error, unexpected token, and uh, it is not a valid JSON. So let's go back. And uh, the problem is with the fetch call because we are not getting a valid JSON data. So let's go back. And here's the issue. We don't need to add JSON in script for the fetch call. And we also don't need to have the callback. 
for the fetch call. We need to have that for this script src over here. So let's go ahead and remove that. So let's remove this uh, callback handle all posts and let's also remove everything till here. So the link is the home page forward slash feeds post summary question mark alt equals json and then we have the max results and the start index. Right now let's save this and let's see whether everything works all right. Let's go back to our home page and let's refresh this page. Let's scroll down and let's click on the load more button. And here we can see more posts are being loaded but everything from the first post are being displayed over here. So here we can see that how to make your life easy with ChatGPT. And if you scroll up, it is the first post over here. So before adding this to the HTML, we need to reset the HTML. So let's go back. And here in the generate HTML function, so in this function over here, before the for each loop, I just type block post container. And in that we are adding the HTML. So here I just type inner HTML equals blank. And let's save this. And now let's go back to our home page and let's refresh this page. And let's scroll down and uh, let's click on this load more button. And now we can see that the next posts are being displayed over here. And uh, this is the last post. But here we still have the load more button. So we need to hide the load more button when we don't have any more posts. So let's go back. And here in this load more posts function, here let's add an if condition. And let's type if entries dot length is less than posts per page. So if it is the last page, then we just need to hide the load more button. So here let's type load more btn dot style dot display equals none. And here it is showing this error because uh, we need to change less than to ampersand lt semicolon. Right now let's save this. And let's go back to the home page and let's reload this page. And here we have this load more button and let's click on it. And here we have the remaining posts and now we don't have the load more button because this is the last post. So if you go back to the list of posts. Here if we scroll down, here we can see that the last post is AI, things you should learn. And here we have the last post. Alright, so that's basically how you can add the load more button to your blogger website. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.